Action 2 News at 5. Let's turn now to a unique case from Brown County Court today. 35 year old Heather Polina of De Pere is facing several charges, including possession of narcotic drugs and theft. She owns a business called Cleaning by Heather LLC. She cleans people's homes. She's accused of stealing her client's prescription narcotic drugs during two cleaning sessions. Our Brittany Schmidt joins us now with more after being in court today. So it is an interesting case uh, because a lot of people use cleaning services mm -hmm. in their home. Mm -hmm. It's also interesting how she got caught. Tell us about that. Right. So um, one of her clients had just had surgery, knee surgery. So she had some prescription meds on the counter by the kitchen. Um, and when her cleaning lady, Polina, came and left, she noticed that there were some pills missing from her pill bottle. Um, so she told her family about it and her family actually noted that they'd saw like a Facebook rumor online about um, the business okay. and thought, okay, you know, let's put up a video recording system so that when she comes back to clean the next month, we'll see if it was her or if mom is maybe misplacing them or something like that. So that's exactly what they did on April 10th is when they put up the video camera and they found her. It shows Polina, um, according to the criminal complaint and the video that's in it, that she took the pills, put it in her pocket and left. In total, of those two times that she cleaned this client's place, she stole 53 pills of oxycodone. All right, so you mentioned that there were some online rumors about mm -hmm. the business. So is this the first time she's suspected of doing this? Has she done it with other clients or allegedly? Right, so she's. this isn't the first time okay. and it actually in the criminal complaint, that's why there's four charges, two for theft and two for possession of narcotics because they actually charged for the September case. That might have been that rumor that was okay. circulating. So in that case, um, a, a person mentioned that they thought that um, they were missing some Vicodin in their in their pill bottle and it ended up um, questioning her about it. She denied it, um, but with this video evidence for this most recent case, she admitted to it and says, yeah. Okay, so the, the question that comes to mind with multiple, if this is in fact multiple times, which is what she's being charged mm -hmm. with, what is she doing with them? Is she, is she selling those? Is, was there an explanation from her today as to what she was doing with the pills? So according to the criminal complaint, police asked her what she's doing with them. And she says that she's using them herself, that she has been struggling with her addiction on and off the past few months. Okay. And so she tells them she's not selling them. She is in fact taking them. So, so what was her bond set at? And does that tell you anything with that, with that level of bond? Right. So she got a $1,500 signature bond. So she just signs, says, I'll come back to court. I'll mm -hmm. do whatever I need to do. Um, and she was actually released already. So, um, and what that tells you is that they don't think she, um, you know, is a danger to society, um, that she's not selling them. Right, she's not trafficking. Correct. Okay. Yep, and maybe this is a reminder to people who do have cleaning, you know, lock up your prescription right. meds or, or keep track of them. Right. Know what, what you have in those bottles. All right, Brittany, thanks so much for that. Still